book is about seeing, it's a book about perception, um, it's about people's ideas about themselves and the mistakes in those ideas. Judith's strength is that she's able to manipulate the gaps between the way people think they are and the way that they actually are. She's extremely lucid, it's a, it's, it's a very visually focused book. I think it's extraordinary that you can do all sorts of things to women's bodies on the page. You, know, you can torture them, you can subject them to all kinds of horrible abuse. In crime fiction, um, what happens to women's bodies is, is really extreme. And yet, if you show a woman who is unapologetically enjoying her own body, that's still seen as shocking. I find this strange. I also find it odd that, in theory at least, we live in a sexually liberated culture, one in which women are encouraged to embrace their bodies, to embrace their sexuality, uh, and yet, simultaneously, any candid description of what grown-ups actually do behind the bedroom door is seen as disgusting. I, I find this really, yeah, paradoxical. If you're a woman and you write a book, everyone wants to know what it means in terms of feminism. You're required to make big, broad statements. You know, nobody asks, I know, Javier Cercaz about, you know, what, what your book means for the entire masculine population of the world. On the other hand, um, I think Judith's a feminist because I think she's part of a generation which has absorbed feminist principles very naturally. Um, but does that mean it's, it's a feminist book for women? No, it's a book for guys to read on their holidays.